Hi there, Dolly friends. Today I'm gonna to tell you all about Miranda and how she came to be with me and what I did to fix her up a little bit after the earthquake. My cousin found her in a bag with three other dolls and she purchased this bag for $2.50, making them 83 cents each for these dolls. The other dolls also need some care, but poor Miranda, she had a piece of her cheek missing, that little triangular part that goes down, nowhere to be found. And when she arrived at my house, her face was completely broken and her eyes were gone. She's extremely dirty, as are her clothes, which even though they're in great condition, do need a wash. Her head is attached by a hook on the back of her head, and I'm gonna try to recover her a little bit. So stay tuned to see if I accomplish this. Here you can see, get a good idea of how dirty she is. Her little dress is just too adorable, and it's actually in really good condition. It's just really dirty. So one of the first things I wanna do is take it off and soak it in my perk and get it nice and clean. I'll show you a better picture of her mark, but see how her head is attached? It's attached with this hook, a rusted hook at the top of her head, securing her to the arm area. So I am gonna have to completely take her apart, get inside her head, clean her body, restring her, clean her clothes, and I'm just taking a look at her to see what I have to work with. Well, I noticed when I was cleaning her that there was glue around the area which was broken. So the piece of her face that's broken off had already been broken and re-glued. I'll show you where um, I noticed the glue, right inside this area here. And I don't know what kind of glue it was. It came off pretty easily. It was kind of a rubbery texture. Um, yeah. My plan is to use my Loctite liquid super glue and apply it with this applicator just to one part of the surface. I'm gonna put some Vaseline around the outside of her face. I'm a little anxious because this will be the permanent part. While I let her head get nice and dry after it's cleaning, I'll show you her body parts. I've cleaned the torso um, and I'm sorry about my bad lighting, but I was doing this in the evening and I don't have good lighting. Um, but I wanna show you how dirty it is and how it's constructed. Over the pegged areas, they put, I don't know if it's paint or some kind of a putty, but I'm going to have to get it off in order to get to the peg to remove everything and in order to restring it. I was trying, I wanted to show you the inside of the torso, that's the leg, but it doesn't go all the way down. So there's no opening from the neck to the legs. Um, and it's pretty dark and dank in there. And look at her, I'm just showing you her cute little shoes. I don't know, what do you think? Those are 1920s or 30s shoes? Let's do a little arms and legs before. I have uh, gojo the body, so that's pretty clean. Look at it, let me see down. I just want to show you again, you know, how it's constructed. So much better. Here's what I used on the composition. And here's what I used on the bisque. Yep. So here she is. I have a cotton ball in there with some plastic wrap on it because that just made me feel better. Recommended 
to use this Loctite Super Glue liquid. So I'm going to do that. And I decided that I am going to put the glue inside the head and not on the piece. It should only go on one side. This was the only, I would say, permanent thing I did to the doll. Um, everything else that I will do to her can be undone. So if someone wanted to really take it to a professional level, they could. But I just wanna have her for myself and I don't wanna pay to replace her head, which is pretty enough. Did you see my big mistake there? I should not have thrown that Q-tip onto my towel with super glue on it. <laughs> She looks better than she did. I don't know what I'm going to do about that part. All right, I am not going to fiddle with it too much. Just going to leave her there. Once she was dry, I just got a bit of my air dry clay. I had considered leaving that area, just leaving it open, but I feel like it did need some protection. So I'm just kind of playing around with it a little bit. Um, I end up barely putting any on there, but just enough to kind of cover that area. I'm just trying to get, you know, a little bit of the shape there. And I am being very, very ginger with it. I am barely touching and pressing. I know it looks like I'm scraping and all that, but it's, I'm actually being very, very gentle and very careful. You can see I switched to my silicone um, scraper here. And I'm just kind of trying to get a little definition to her cheek. I, I am a complete 100% amateur, and these are the materials I have, and it's just to give her a little function. I'm not trying to recreate the bisque or do anything like that. I'm just trying to give it a little, you know, hint of definition and something to protect her face just a little bit. This is just air dry clay. It can be completely undone. Just soak it with some water and it will come right off. Um, this is not anything permanent. If someone wanted to take this doll at a future time and have her professionally repaired, there shouldn't be any problem with that. Now I have lots of little dried pieces of <laughs> clay on her, so I'm just cleaning her off a little bit. These little, um, they're called microfiber swabs. They come in like a pack of 300 or something like that on Amazon. They're very inexpensive and I like to use them. I don't use them all the time, all the time because I don't do this kind of stuff all the time, all the time, but um, they come in very handy. All right. Let me let her rest for a little while. Miranda, you really shouldn't be holding that sharp pointed tool. I ended up using some alcohol to just soften that little paint or putty that was on the end. Doing all four limbs, it took me a really long time and you can see the pieces of wood that I was hacking out of there. Um, I did end up getting it. The clothes are on their way to being clean. Then I was making some pegs and I'm gonna need to have a peg inside her neck because I definitely don't want it secured on the back of her head like it was with that hook. It should just really go into her neck. So I'll have to string the head to the arms since there's no hole going all the way down and then the legs will be strung together. Now. I'm going to work on the eyes. I am really nervous about this part. They are sleeping eyes. 
and it's so tiny in there I'm just not sure I'm gonna be able to get that done and honestly I'm not even really sure how to do it I think you're supposed to rock it back and forth once the plaster is in um, yeah it's so tiny in there I don't know how I'm gonna do it and it was really hard to get them just right I don't know if it was me or the eyes or that little area in her face that's a little awkward but I did I poured my plaster it's easy to soften up that plaster and get it out if I want to reset them I can already see looking at this angle that it's crooked um, so she'll probably need a second eye surgery but that's okay I did not end up getting them to rock I just don't know how to do it. Um, it didn't work out for me. I couldn't find a good way to maneuver the eyes back and forth to create a little place for them to rock um, because it was so small and I was so afraid of breaking this bisque again. So this will have to do for now. I kept putting my little plastic covered cotton in there just because I was afraid they might fall out again, but they were very secure. Her left eye is a bit lopsided, but she can see and it's purely functional. She'll just have to wear an eye mask when she goes to sleep. I decided to soak just a tiny little piece of my air dry clay and use that to kind of smooth over the top of that bisque to kind of round it out a little more. Um, I just used a little paintbrush and dissolved it a little bit. Too bad I didn't uh, move over so you could see what I was doing. <laughs> a little cleanup, a little more smoothing. And what I ended up doing is I just took a little bit of my blush, my blusher, my powdered blusher, just so it isn't so stark white. I didn't want to get involved in painting and things like that because I don't really know how to do that. Now some stringing. I felt really good when I got to this part because it's a little more in my comfort zone, <laughs> even though it's all new to me. I've done this a few times. I enjoy it and it's not hard. <laughs> this is the peg that's going to go in her neck and I just created a little slip knot and I'll just drop it down into her head and I can use some tweezers to adjust it. I just learned this by watching different videos online. It's really very easy and I think quite satisfying to be able to restring a doll. And I haven't quite done one this way before, but, but I feel confident. You see what I'm trying to do there? and just take care that you don't get them crossed. So I'll string the right side to her right arm and the left side to her left arm. I'm just going in with my tweezers to make sure the little cross peg for her neck is positioned correctly. I pulled the string through her arm and I'm just adding a little bit of glue, just white, simple white glue. And my pre-made peg. I like to get the peg as close as possible to a flush fit, but if it sticks out a little bit, you could cut it off afterwards. That's just another way to do it. Repeat on the other side. Glue. Peg.
If you're interested in seeing my other stringing and cleaning videos, I can link them in the description box or you can just go to the home page on my channel and find them. I'm just using the back of a wooden dowel to press it in. Not sure what to do about this matted hair, but I'm going to have to let her pegs dry. I ended up putting some dried flowers in her hair, and I think that really helped a lot. Time to get her dressed. She is doing so much better. She's almost walking even. Well, her stay in the infirmary is done. She may need to have another surgery on her eye. We'll just have to see about that. I'm so pleased with Miranda's outcome and happy to have her in my doll family. I'm glad she was able to keep all the original pieces she had. If you wanna see how I made her crutch, come back and visit me next time in the doll cupboard. There's Miranda joining everyone in the parlor. The Charlottes are here and Millie and Juanita whose leg has healed and Gertrude and Deanna.